Hey guys, it's Mr. Nu back for the Fallen Sanctum, and today we have a guest! Hey, what's up? It's the other Emmanuel. Yeah, we are Emmanuel Sisses! Today. Um, so yeah, we got some good news, and I participated at the League Cup, and Emmanuel's gonna present what, what we had on the, uh, that I won. When you see a play mat, you know it's good stuff. Yeah, well, let's bring it on the bottom. Boom! Yeah. And we also, these are not gonna be opened here, but it's gonna be open on the, the actual Fallen Sanctum. Yep, and we got some products for us! Yep. Yes. It's gonna be coming soon on the channel. Yeah. Uh, bringing Shadow Elite Trainer Box and also. That thing. Yeah. Small spoilers. It's probably gonna be in two separate segments. Yep, of course, because Lucas wants some mad money. But there we go. Um, Manual won a League Cup, but to win when a League Cup, it. you need yeah. a deck. It's no secret, he played Gardevoir. And this is this is not my list per se, it's actually Lucas's list that he used. I just tweaked it a little bit. Yeah. So here's the deck. It has been split down. And there you go. Well, when you play the damn thing. So I'll, I'll present the cards and everything like that. And then after that, I'll, I'll explain my record. Alright so. then, let's start with the Pokemon. So um, It's a pretty straightforward list at this point, so. Yeah, very straightforward. Four of um, Rolls. Four out, you need it. Not really much to explain. It's Not a Gardevoir deck. So, three Curlias, Curlia. You only play three because you play a lot of Rare Canyon. Mm -hmm. Get to that part afterwards. And then you play the three Gardevoir and the one Gallade. Three of Gardevoir and one of the Gallade. So, pretty straightforward stuff. I was, I actually detested Gallade, but I found out while playing League Cup that it's actually a fucking insane card. <laughs> First of all, it's an NGX. It helps you in so many matchups. First of all, just yeah. a screwed price trade. Um, yeah. There was one matchup I'll explain later where it was really strong, and it's um, uh, was it premonition? Or is it, uh, premonition. Premonition's effect. Propagation really, is something yeah. else. Yeah. <laughs> premonition effect really helped out a lot when I needed to like dig with artillery and stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, such good stuff. Uh, some more Pokemons because hey, yeah. hey Gardevoir played 10 bajillion Pokemons. It's almost, yeah, it expanded. I suppose you could play a Vespic online just to spice things up. No, no, don't do that, sir. No, don't do that. To Remoraid because he played two Octillery. Yeah, the, the funny thing with Octillery is I had two, octo uh, two Octillery at least like half of my matches. And that's, that's, it's just dope. Yeah, you basically. draw so many cards. <laughs> Who needs a second one when you can draw ten yeah, cards? Yeah, like with it's because I, I filled up my bench bench space and I had like one or two like cardivores and stuff like that, so I just kept on like, going nuts. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like, MVP guys, you need to. <laughs> and you people, need to people playing a Rangaroos. I don't think they understand the game. Well, no, it depends on how, how you're playing. It. You're playing a you're playing the late. Yeah, yeah, this deck of course. Search engine. Well, oh, yeah. You need search engine when you're playing a stage two. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why one one? There are times where you lead with this one and led with uh, Diancy. It was like the nuts. Like, it's funny. And then when you're playing Volpex, it's more like you're gonna Volpex more in a, in a situation where you go into Bridget. Every time I was Bridgeting, I, I tend to go with Volpex, and Diancy was pretty interesting. I, I wish I used the healing effect, but like, uh, I mean, sometimes you don't use it. But um, yeah. if you ever if you ever fought against a deck that like to use spread damage, like you're yeah. fight, if you're fighting the Crosma Coco the evolved deck, or maybe if someone is still playing the Sigilide, because apparently people are still doing it, Trail Candy is still thing. Yeah, supposed to be. Well, the Coco it's spread the Coco spread won't like you want to Coco spread as much as you want, like the blue match it, and it and it was. He was an opponent that I'll explain there how I played it. But the, the, the Nine Tails is really good. Like, uh, the thing is, doing the 1-1 one -one split is worth it. And there are, the, there are times when you play Bridget Surprise. Alright, yeah. so 3 Lele. That's why I played 2 Bridget. You don't, you don't want to play 2 Bridget. Mm. There's a reason. So you play 3 Tapu Lele's. Because Lele's. You do not bench all your Lele's while you're playing this deck. You play like 1 or 2 and then you will sickle more the rest. It's or you, really you keep one in deck until the end when you really need the Guzman. No, no, no. I was like, I was sending it to Graveyard. I mean, you have more experience with me than the... No, no, I mean like, it's, hot. it's just during the League Cup, that's it. And the funny thing with this deck so far with uh, Gardevoir is that like, it was my 
first time playing this version of the build. I played Gardevoir before, but I didn't play it like this. So uh, no, that's yeah, this is, I, I split it half. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Anyway, uh, so the, now item. now onto the items. So the items are quite techy. Straightforward. Yeah, well, straightforward for certain stuff. So four you ultra, ultra ball because you need ultra ball. Yeah, that's standard. Okay, next one. Um, the rare candies. The rare candies. We play four rare jump. candies. Some, most Gardevoirs will tend to play three. We have certain decks that you're going to find out why we play extra rare candies, and it helps me in the matchup. It's mm. supposed to really be funny. I would call it Japanese spice at this point, because only a Japanese player would think about it. It's so good. So, two field blower. It's kind of, stand can kind of standard. <clears throat> Garbador is a thing. Garbador is a thing, but it's not something you're scared about. It's just fighting fury belt is a thing. Choice band is a thing. Yeah, it's a, it's is a, a thing, thing, but it's it helps. And you don't play stadium. Yeah, you. Well, Old Town is a. We mess. don't play. We, the funny thing is, we don't play stadiums in this build. Don't. You want to reduce as little inconsistency as possible. And our one ofs. So we only we play one professor's letter. This is a really good. Uh, tech card because it allows you to get uh, two energy and we tried playing with Rombombi in the past and we're like okay we don't we draw too much we don't care yeah. Rombombi's dead space and we tech also one max potion surprisingly sorry guys man. the mirror match and making people depressed when you max potion a guard of our when you retreat yeah <laughs> people I had a person that I played against, I think it was like game two, and it was top eight. I maxed potion and, and he scooped. <laughs> <laughs> you know you're going well when yeah, the guy's yeah. like, max potion, scoop. Yeah, basically. Okay, and the, cho the choice band is the last card. The reason why you don't play like three choice bands and everything like that, it's like... An energy is a choice band. For an energy is a choice band. But like, in terms of why you're not playing like multiple choice bands, you don't need it. And what makes this deck interesting is their field blowers are useless against you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no. Also, um, the, the one thing I do, my one grip I have with the deck though, is the amount of supporters you're playing. I mean, it's the new format. Yeah, yeah. well, it's, uh, it's four of these bad boys. Yeah, four sycamores. For Carlo, because Carlo is amazing. We, yeah, for those of you who don't get it, uh, Carlo is a guy at a local shop we play with. He, he basically looks like Sycamore. Yeah, yeah, but the reason... He, Maybe he, I'm gonna put a picture the, of the, Carlo. The, the sad thing about the Sycamore is he hates playing... He hates playing N, and he always likes playing Sycamore. Oh, that too. That's why he deck out like most of his game. If you want get, to win against the guy, just take it out. I mean, he does that to the detail. 3N? They're not 3 there are three different prints just to like, win the kiss and trigger us. It's N. Basically, 3N, it's N. N has been played since black and white. We play N since black and white. And we'll probably play N after. It's the best supporters. It's one of the best supporters. Yeah, well, draws. It's a draw supporter and Who's a disruption supposed? card at yes. the same time. Oh yeah, uh, well we'll go to the next support. Sorry, just petting the, the guest. Oh, the next draw. Oh yeah. This is This a is spice. a weird tech. Like, at first I was like, this. I thought this was a bad card, but I used it like, there were times where I'm like, I look at my opponent's hand and I said, how many cards do you have in hand? And then I'm like, okay, show the card. Basically guys, this card used to be trash. This card is still not the best, but in the new format, with this deck, wonders. in this with in this deck, it is Shana. Shana is an uh, interesting tech because if you are like if you're in a winning position and stuff like that, you don't want it. And if you see your opponent like not able to play out that well, you play Shana. And what's interesting in it is like if you have artillery on board, you can play Shana and then you can use Shana. It allows you to make yourself have a hand size to make use of Octillery. It's a re like, I, I really did not like Shauna, but the more you, the more I played with it, the more I was like, it's a, it's a late game card though. You yeah. don't want to play it. Because you don't want to end yourself to two, so you're Shauna. Yeah. And since it's the new format and we kind of need to do it, well, three Goozy. It's all boy Guzma! Yeah, Guzma. 
MVP man, which is like broken freaking supporter. I don't know why it exists. <laughs> because Lysander used to exist. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's, it's worse than Lysander, man. It's stupid. Yeah. Because I'm like Lysander. Because I was there. I'll have a better explanation later when I go more into the depths of the. Mm -hmm. the and we have just one of sorry now. Uh, yeah, we have one of Azerola. Yeah. Oh, no, we have, there's a two of but Azerola. Don't be surprised. Don't be scared playing this in a Guardi deck. It is really funny. <laughs> it's not because you're a state shooter. You want to pick yourself up. That's why we are playing four. No, no, no. It, it's more like, you, yeah, you play several cat. This is the car reason why you're playing several cat. But it's funny when you have like a damaged uh, uh, Gardevoir and you have like, you can set up to evolve. You just play that, get your energy back and then just play energy. Oh, and you can Secret Spring, Isarola, yeah. and put it back again to Secret Spring again? Yeah, it's... 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 it's, it's funny. <laughs> it's like it's a... The only thing I don't really agree with the deck is just that I haven't seen Bad Karma, so I tend to prize that card half of the game I play. It was prized in... That's why you're crying. Yeah, yeah, there was a game, there, there was a game that I tied. Because it was... But we all you play. really, really cry. It's as but there are games. But there are, there are games where you like you can play out of it. And our favorite cards. Well, I don't play it in my list, but it's just because I don't have the space. Beautiful Skyla. Yeah. Two Skylas. Two Skylas because we are a stage two. We are combo based. And we may get sure that. Maybe a professor's letter. Sometimes you just need that one card. Or you are a Lilia. Lower, yeah. Or the Skyla from lower. Yeah. And, like, and in your face, trash bag. We play a total of four energies. Yeah. Pretty straightforward count of energy. So 4 DC because you get attack for DC and DC is 16 more damage. Eight for eight. Sometimes, okay. I never really like uh, not have it. Like I would maybe want to play one more. Fairy energy for how the deck functions is really good. It's just the problem I have with the deck is that there is no recovery outside of Twilight GX. But it's nice. Who need recovery when you're smacking people in the face? Yeah. There are times where you need to recover. Like you recover you recover when I didn't use Twilight GX that often, but you, you use Twilight GX to do a recovery. So it's really important. So, Alright guys, um, Emmanuel need to talk about his matchup. Yeah. We're going to do it on TCGO because we want to show the cards. So, do the magic of editing. I hate to edit. Yeah. So, record. Hey guys, we're back. Yep, we're back. So, we're here just and to... And we are recording. So, so we're good. just going to explain the matchup so that I did. And it was a total of 8, but I did have a buy-in at the end. So, I only technically played 7 games. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna explain what I'm, my, first, my the first four matchups and then I'm gonna explain the top eight because it was actually top eight and we're actually 30 people at the Cup. That's for me that's a pretty big record. I yeah, that was played, a meaty cup. Yeah, it was, it was really hard. I mean, like not in terms of attractive individuals, but it was all people in terms of like, body. Alright, so. <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> All right. The channel is considered not PG, so that's good. Yeah, yeah. All right. So the first matchup that I actually had was fire. So mine was gonna just click, and it was a weird variant. It had like both area. Yeah. I I I I, I was like, what, what am I playing? So I should have put a Kiawe on there. But yeah. You, you guys know it worked with yeah, yeah. We're only doing the Pokemon because it's much more easier just to do fast exploration. On it. So yeah, fire. That was the deck. And destroyed the thing because that thing yeah, 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 I, 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 I played against them and I cried inside because it was a couple of And it was on ta that was table 21. <laughs> <laughs> Number my first match. Oh, yeah. And Volk. Yeah, Baby Volk was there, but not in Not that thing, that thing, not that thing, that thing is yeah. for yourself. So, after that, after I played against Fire, my game two was Gardevoir, Mirror Match. Supposedly there was a high influx of Gardevoir players, so I was uh, I made the decision to you know play the deck. I was actually supposed to be playing Fire, but I'm like okay, you know what? 
there's um, people are not going to be afraid of me and Gardevoir is going to probably wreck, wreck house so mirror match Gardevoir beat the opponent was not that bad a, well, a Gardevoir mirror match is you need to be good at math yeah you need to well you need to be good at math but you have to know you have to know how you're playing your deck and everything like that too the funny thing is the person the other the, the person that I played against uh, she was she could have made top 8 but she didn't yeah she lost she's gonna she lost to an opponent that I'll explain later on in the top 8 she bubbled top 8 yeah she bubbled like literally okay. she was she was actually doing and it was her first league cup too so I have to give props to her mm. what's her name? I don't remember but it was a female player she was playing guard of War, so. did you tell did you tell her to come play at 3 kings? I'll do that next time. You gotta replay Yeah, I have to. We need more good people at Three Kings. Yeah, right yeah, now we're just milking. We're milking the store credit of that store, basically. You can't say anything about that. You can't say anything about that. <laughs> okay, carry on, carry on. Okay, so yeah, uh, game three. Uh, they were, game three game three and four were probably my most hard, the hardest matchups I had. What was your final score? Uh, final score? Mm -hmm. Two the score champ, basically. So game, uh, my game three was I was playing against a, a person named Greg, and uh, he was playing a variant I didn't see at the top of uh, the list of It was just Poco the list of Scary. Oh yeah. This well, it's this, first impression. I'm hoping that maybe next time I'll see Lucas and everything like that. We make a list of Jekyll list and Poco. Swallow guys, made it. guys, it's Yellow Swallow made the list about it. Like yeah, I seen, I seen, and I, scoop up. I seen it. Well, it's, it it's doesn't hurt. use scoop up. It just, I think the guy was just using his. Guy, it's, it's going to be a deck. It's scary. I'm just telling you. <laughs> Goalie Snowpot is dope in standard and in expansion. Yeah, yeah. It's, I, I, I should have. I should have rated the card hard. I game, I game, I won game one. Game two, I was like sweating, and we game three, we couldn't finish in time. We couldn't finish our third match. So was good. Yeah, so I draw that matchup. And um, game three was, oh no, game, game four, four was Galissapod and Garbodor. And the guy was like, yeah, it's such bad luck. And he it was played Johan. like a 2 2 of Garbodor? I believe so, yeah. He, 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 he whiffed, like, he played like Sycamore. He didn't get any energy. He, he couldn't get his double colorless energy. Like So you basically smacked the camera? Yeah. I would really, I would really consider like if you want to play like a very consistent uh, Galissapod, mm -hmm. play the uh, play the uh, the variant with Tapu Koko and Galissapod. It's you have more scary space in your deck. No, it's stuff. it's just you do your switches. Like he was doing like first impression like often. Like, I mean, it, it, if you have the the argument, uh, Garbo Toxin is stopping Volk. Yeah, Volk is one shotting you anyway. So yeah, you're not stopping. You're basically stopping away at this point. Oh, and maybe strong Vol charge. Vol Vulk is a scary match. Like, surprisingly, I didn't. I only played with one fire, but there were like, at least like seven. Like, six or seven. Anyways, uh, last match I tied on the fifth round, so that I didn't make it. Yeah, so in total, I had 11 points. I was actually considered second place. Before going into top 10. Um, so yeah, uh, I only lost two resistance. I don't think there was anyone that had actually won. And your top cup was? Uh, my top cup. My first game was uh, top eight, and it was Rainbow Zerians. And legit, um, he went to he won game one and like wrecked me. Like it because was Bishar. Yeah, he he cuckooed because I had like all my. Uh, Gardevoir's out, so he bisharked me with a choice band, uh, and he cuckooed me. So I'm like, okay, I'm not, I'm not taking this <laughs> alert. And his uh, Rainbow Roads were like top notch. Like, I mean, you have a Volcano, a Bisharp, a Galvantula, a Xerneas, and an Orangu. Yeah, literally all that. You're smacking for like two, four, six, seven. You have 200. like eight type at this point. Yeah, and with a choice band. Yeah. Scary. It's, it's boom. It's scary. 
Um, game two, uh, he could not set up as well. Mm. And I because that's Rainbow Road and that thing is like... Yeah. The only thing less consistent the guy than Rainbow Road is going to be. never whiffed his elixirs! And you're playing 8 energy in Rainbow Road. I don't know, he was like playing weird list, but like... Okay. He was also playing one Oranguru. Both games he prized both of his Orangurus because that was like his MVP, MVP card. Yeah. So yeah, he whiffed like mad. Well, no, not whiffed. He, he got all his elixirs and everything and I killed the, the Xerneas and the, the, the play of the night was me bringing Gardevoir, retreating, bringing the other Gardevoir and Max Potioning it and then you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, because hitting 230 is yeah. still fairly hard for Xerneas. Yeah. Game 3, okay, mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, it was getting to the point where I was... He he was knocking me out several times, but it was like a 2-2 two -two prize. It was a, he was winning mm -hmm. at two prizes, and me it was three. I knocked it out. His last Pokemon, I think, was like another Xerneas with the, the, uh, with the Gardevoir. Because mm -hmm. I played... What I did was I played... Because I was like thinking about bringing the Gardevoir, but I'm gonna put Glade first. Knocked out that Pokemon. He killed my, uh, my Glade, I think, with his with a, with a Xerneas. Then I put up my Gardevoir and had like a good amount of energy. I mean, both. And two out of three tech cards of four. And the four sort of. Yeah. So I wasn't completely aware of it. So what happened is I. I brought the Gardevoir, uh, Gardevoir out, and I killed his last Arrhenius, mm -hmm. and he had a choice ban on his uh, Bishard, and he played Kukui. It's the one shot. He, he I won the game. He needed an end. Yeah, he needed to get that one. And he could Kukui. Yeah, and basically, I'm like, okay. Uh, he brought up like, a Kukui Pokemon. This player came from Ontario. Like, he, he drove like hours. And he told me like he was playing Learn the Cup with his brother and he was top and his top four. He gave his one to his brother. So that's like that, that sucks. <laughs> I mean that's Pokemon. Yeah, the game Pokemon. is based out of skill, but it's also based out of luck. Yeah yeah. Dude, like a lot of my games I played, like luck was on my side. <laughs> The opponent did not whiff and I got my guards. Alright, um, so top four, I played Bulu and uh, Bulu Ball Bulu. I won both games. Uh, it was the guy's first time playing Bulu, like the tournament and everything like that. And like, guys, you need, a, you need experience guys, to be Vika Bulu. Guys, Glade, no, no, yeah, Glade is your best friend in that matchup. Because, or else, it's a really, really bad matchup for Gardevoir. Yeah, yeah, but you just stack energy. The idea is you you leave you play Glade, kill all Gigavolts. They are the bane of your existence. You kill the Gigavolt, they can't do nothing. Yeah. And the guy was like woofing like crazy. But like every time I saw like every time I had the opportunity, you kill the Grubbin or Gigavolt, which you don't care. As a big Vikavulu player, I don't like people to know that, but it's your way of counting against the deck. Or else Bulu is just smacking you to death. And like Glade like hits like 130. Like boom, boom, boom. You don't even need to play a supporter and you one bang the vehicle. Oh no, you don't. No, no, no. It's 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 sad. Like it's really sad. And like Bulu, yeah, Bulu technically is like a 50-50 win. But the thing is that the opponent always tries to like not have any energy on Bulu, so that gives you an advantage. So when he does like tries to knock you out and does not have energy, you kill you kill the gigabo. Mm -hmm. Have to, you have to. The thing is, it's really hard to win the Garden Bar matchup in general. It's like you have to Tafu Coco first, and, and you know, like you saw, I play the Diancy Coco. You, know, I you, hit, you smack for 30, you heal 30. So it's in my list, I play one of Kukui just for that matchup yeah. and change the yield from the Coco where I, I can't Coco. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's smart, though. It's not smart, but in other matchup, it doesn't suit much. Yeah, so my last match was a mirror card award and like the guy who like, I felt bad. Super good. He was playing like Sylveon, he was playing like Garatina Drake. I'm like, this is so weird. 
Didn't you continue to join us so weird enough? Yeah, you showed this. Like, Here's the list back again, guys. So this is the list. Like, he was playing a really strange list, and he was playing, like, Sylveon and everything. And it was, like... Game... Sylveon is supposed to help you in the mirror match. Well, y yeah, he, 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 he got me paranoid and shit like that. Because so, you bleed to guard of war. And he uh, bleed me! Fuck you! And I still won the match! <laughs> so, game one, Tapu Lele. Guzma couldn't do anything. And, like, I killed his Lele. I'm like, my god, you, like, you bricked, like... Super hard. That's the problem with our format. We play a ton of stage two. Yeah. Sorry, sir. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, the cut will be a bit brutal. Yeah. Uh, we needed to edit. Phone call. Yeah. Team member. Team member. Team it was actually the team Lucas. Captain. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Fallen Sanctum himself calling. Yeah. He wants to open the products on his channel, so you guys see it later. You're gonna op upload this uh, later in the week, though. Yeah. Okay. I don't know when. It's going like. Soonish. Yeah. So, anyways, on the matchup is that like game one was like the guy bricked like crazy. Game two, I got plea GX and like I even I thought I would have lost them game two, but like I won both matches and like the the funny thing is that like it was like uh, he like Ace Rola, his Gardevoir I think like that. No, it was not his Gardevoir. It was his Sylveon, and basically I killed his Gardevoir. Because he was putting energy, killed my Gardevoir. I put several energy, knocked it off. So yeah, and that's how you saw like the, the, the League Cup stuff. Did you get a promo? Yes, I got the the dumbbells one. Or something. The dumbbell. Yeah, yeah. The dumbbell. So yeah, so that's basically my report. So anything you wanted to say, Emmanuel? Guard is good. Hey, you know what this means, though. What? The first member got that first place at the League Cup? Yeah, I know, I got fourth place at the League Cup. Yeah, yeah. Team Wiseman. Yeah. You to represent. If you guys want to see a Guard of War with Sylvie on list, uh, right now mine look like it. Might go far on the channel, it might not. Yeah, anyways, I'm sorry guys, but. I'm mean, doing a mirror match with the I gotta, team. Is just I, gotta, so I gotta skedaddle, so. Yeah. Take care. We're gonna love you and leave you. Mr. New's fucking out, and Emmanuel is going. Ciao guys. Bye bye guys. He's going live at some point. We love you.